Namaste to the world, one is family. Today is a very auspicious day. We are for the first time celebrating the World Oneness Festival World over. I am so happy to bring forth this message from the Oneness University for the family that is spread all around the world. Oneness is a phenomenon of the golden orb. We call it Kalki because the golden orb calls itself Kalki. The golden orb or Kalki started giving revelations from the year 1989 based on which the Oneness University functions. The revelations continue to be revealed to a group of elderly beings who lives in great states and leads a very simple anonymous life who are not directly involved in the activities of oneness. The oneness university functions according to the revelations received by them. According to the revelations, the phenomenon has evolved over 850 years and has been anchored by six beings. The sixth and the last being Shyama Bhagwan. The golden orb appeared to Sri Bhagwan when Sri Bhagwan was three years old in a place called Nattam and made Sri Bhagwan chant a particular mantra for 21 years which has not been revealed to the world as of now and then the golden orb disappeared only to reappear in the year 1989 at Satyaloka and started giving revelations upon which the oneness movement and the oneness university are founded and are being guided. Kalki means the dispeller of darkness, which means seeing the false as false and allowing the truth to be. This Kalki does by giving back the lost insights of ancient teachings. Kalki also changes the nine programs controlling human beings. As these programs changes, the individual feels fulfilled and moves from fulfillment to transformation and from transformation to freedom and from freedom to awakening and from awakening to oneness. Thus, by Kalki, moving humans into a state of oneness is the harbinger of the golden age. There are several milestones humanity would pass through before arriving there. The first milestone is in the year 2012 where a large number of people have moved into the first level of awakening. It is meant the mental focus shifts from worrying about the problem to solving the problem. The second level of awakening would occur in the year 2018 where a large number of people would be able to complete their relationships. It is meant that the people or the events one has come across in one's life should no more be a source of disturbance in their consciousness. In other words, what happened in one's life would be perceived as though it has happened in someone else's life. In other words, they would start living like a stranger in a guest house. The next milestone would be revealed in the year 2018. To receive the grace of the golden orb or Kalki, firstly, one must become conscious and be aware of one's lies especially those spoken to oneself. Secondly, 
one must become conscious and be aware of one's self in action in one's activities. Thirdly, one must become conscious and be aware of one's ego gains. Kalki is a phenomenon in response to the praise of humanity. Kalki takes the responsibility of your growth and has the power to do it. Kalki has also revealed to receive Kalki's grace, one has to directly relate to Kalki without the interference of anybody in between the individual and Kalki. The function of Vanas University is to guide you to Kalki and also to give you the revelations given by Kalki at the time appointed by Kalki. Based on Kalki's revelations, we are introducing the live image of the golden orb as seen at Satyaloka, Nemam and the Oneness Temple. In accordance with the directives of Kalki, Kalki Ashram would be opened in the early 2016 where people could come and stay and experience a rapid growth to help in this process of the rapid growth are the teachings of Sri Amma Bhagwan and their guidance. The details of Kalki Ashram would soon be posted in our website. We welcome you all and we are waiting to receive you. Namaste. Thank you. Let's celebrate this great World Oneness Festival. <laughs>